So now, a week after the May 3rd hearing where FBI Director James Comey said that hundreds and thousands of classified emails were sent from Hillary Rodham Clinton to her assistant, Huma Abdelin, and they wound up in the computer of Abdelin's husband, Anthony Weiner, the former New York congressman, it's now revealed that he didn't tell the truth, he being Comey, in that there may be a handful of classified emails and not hundreds of thousands. And the news report from CNN is that the speculation by the reporter that wrote it is that maybe Comey, was, was, the reporter was quoting someone saying maybe Comey had a slip of mind or forgot. I don't think so. I think he was, Comey was caught up in trying to prove a point and some people when they try to prove a point they exaggerate. And that's precisely what he did. He exaggerated and came up with a number that was wildly outside of the truth. He shouldn't have done that. I believe that there's more to why Comey did what he did. I think there are a lot of people, both some Democrats and a lot of Republicans, obviously, who didn't want Hillary Clinton to be president. And for Clinton's, from Clinton's position, she came off as a person wanting power and wanting to be the first woman president as opposed to wanting to improve the country and you know, I hate to use this slogan make America great we are always great but to improve it in areas that where the little person counts because too many people are being forced into underemployment so that even as the unemployment rate is high as low excuse me the underemployment rate people not making enough to make ends meet per job is higher than ever so but I digress. The bottom line is, I still think Comey has a lot of explaining to do regarding what he did.